Hi everyone, Ivy St. Ive here to give you guys a quick walkthrough of uh, staking playtesting in the new governance tab. So in order to log into the playtest, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the playtest site um, after we push it live. That's going to be at playtest.hubdemo.lamina1.com. Um, you're going to hit sign in. You're going to sign in using the same login method that you use in mainnet. So if the mainnet account that you have currently funded and set up with the profile is on Discord, log in with Discord, etc., etc. I'm going to use my Discord account. So I'm going to click continue with Discord on Web3 Auth. Authorizing. Waiting for access. And I'm in. All right, so the first step I'm going to do is have you guys all check your wallets. Um, you're going to click the amounts that you have and click expand wallet and definitely check to see if you are currently funded. So recently we dropped um, all of our testers, basically a roughly equivalent amount to what they had in mainnet. So you're going to take a look. Um, do you have L1? I have a 900. Do you have L1? I have a thousand. Um, and I also have some test USD. Um, we're actually going to be shooting a different video um, in a little bit to talk about that. So uh, stay tuned on that. So first of all, again, just kind of check that you're funded. Um, if you're not, or if uh, for some reason your mainnet account has tokens, but um, your playtest account doesn't, definitely reach out to us and let us know. Um, Anyway, from there, uh, head to the governance tab. This is a new tab that is fresh and is uh, the latest updates to the UX for this. The uh, governance tab is where you're going to stake on Lamina One. Um, staking, for those who are not familiar, um, it's a way that you can support uh, proof of stake on the network um, and help secure blocks on the chain. Um, in exchange for that, you actually earn rewards. So on Lamina One, you're going to actually earn stake tokens and rewards L1 or R1 tokens in exchange for staking. Um, if you're ever confused or want a really big deep dive into uh, what these tokens are, what they do, unlock rights, all of that stuff, we have a handy staking guide ready for you on Medium that has a ton of this information included. Um, walk through an overview of official prizes, all sorts of things. So definitely check out that guide if you can. Um, the first thing you're going to do, I mean, actually, let me just give you guys a tour first. So on this left side is kind of your actions um, and on what you can do. So you'll see here daily earning rate. This is how much uh, rewards RL1 and stake tokens you're earning per day. I don't have anything staked right now, so I can't use this. Active stakes, uh, how many stakes you currently have uh, locked up in the network. Um, we'll also unlock this button. And then finally, this third button here that says available to stake. So I have 900 L1 in my account. So that's 900 liquid L1 tokens that I could potentially be putting to use on the network. Um, through that, it, I can also learn how much RL1 per day I could earn um, per staked L1. Um, here on the right side of the page, you can see some additional rewards info. Um, the day of the current reward cycle, the, the quarter we're at, um, the period, as well as the issuance rate of RL1. Um, these will be reset at the beginning of the test, I believe. Um, but um, that's where you can kind of track that stuff. And we also have a metaverse standard time clock that tells you what time it is in metaverse standard time, um, which you can read more about in uh, Lamino and documentation. Now, this is technically important um, if you're really trying to maximize your rewards because you're going to want to stake as close to the beginning of each day as you can. Um, that's a pro tip that a lot of our top testers figured out at the last playtest, and this was a major request by them um, during this playtest. Finally, um, if you're interested, we have um, uh, a section on uh, L1 supply and uh, the kind of general economic movement and balance of tokens. We have the stake supply, um, how many tokens are locked up right now on the network. It's low because we haven't started the playtest yet. Um, circulating supply. Um, how many L1 are currently circulating in the network? Um, 
They are currently usable on Lamina One and available to users. So you can see the total here, and you can also see the number of tokens that are kind of waiting to be unwrapped by users. We've got our locked supply, which is all the tokens that are currently locked up in L01 or R01 rewards token. And then finally, total supply, 1 billion L1. This won't change during the play test. Finally, helpful resources. We've got the governance white paper, the state liminal and staking guide. We've got the playtest live chat where you can go to ask questions and talk to other users who are participating in the playtest. And finally, um, the ability to access the uh, playtest faucet, um, which again, we'll go through in another video. All right, so to get started staking, simply hit the stake button. So I'm gonna hit this here and it's gonna ask me how much do you wanna stake and how long do you wanna stake? Um, in exchange, as it says here, you'll receive stake tokens to increase your earning power, which basically you'll be able to see here um, what's the rewards multiplier that you'll get um, by staking, along with rewards tokens that essentially you can collect every day during the designated stake period. Um, and that will unlock into uh, liquid L1 over time. So as a first test, let's uh, lock up 100 L1. Um, you can change your stake period here. Um, any day, time between one day and 3,650 days, which is 10 years. Um, pro tip, again, the longer you stake, as you can see, the higher your rewards. So you'll see the APY here, which is the annual rate uh, of rewards L1 that you earn per staked L1. Um, you'll be able to see the daily rewards you're earning, the staking power that you'll get. These are tokens that'll actually end up kind of in your wallet, um, as well as, you know, R01 per stake and also the percentage of uh, all staking power that you'll earn by doing these tokens. So I'm gonna be, just a total maxi and um, stake for the, th the full 3,650 days because I'm really looking to maximize my earning potential on the network. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit stake, confirm, and stake submitted. So as you'll see now, I'm now earning 271 RL1 on the network. Um, and I have one at active stake. Now, in order to kind of show off this demo, I'm gonna do another stake for 100 that is only for one day, um, just so that I can show you all, um, you know, what happens um, when you can kind of pull these stakes out. So I'm gonna do one short one as well. You'll notice that the rewards for this one are significantly lower. Um, so I'm gonna hit that. validating the stake, that stake is submitted as well. So now we're gonna wait until the next day. That should unlock fairly soon. Um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys this uh, manage tool. <laughs> so here is the tab where you're gonna be able to view your active stakes, um, the staking power multiplier that's currently attached to them, as well as how many days that are left for you to be able to withdraw those stakes. Um, when these go live or when they unlock, you'll be able to use these check boxes to select which stakes you'd like to withdraw back into usable L1. So the kind of interesting thing is um, after you kind of stake, so I've obviously staked uh, 100 tokens uh, for each of those pools, um, once they um, are done staking on the network, you get all of those back. Um, so, you know, we don't take any, anything out. Um, you'll get them all back um, once the staking period is up. Um, they're also no longer generating stake or rewards tokens on the network. Um, so it's pretty advantageous um, to withdraw as soon as uh, things become available and either use them on the network to do things like creating experiences or buying NFTs or, you know, anything that you don't use, we really do, um, you know, there's a pretty high incentive, I mean, to stake it and put it to work on the network. Um, again, uh, check it out. So while we were in there, um, my first batch of tokens uh, became available to collect. So this is... Um, basically, you're going to come in here pretty regularly. So in the playtest, um, 
as you guys may read in the guide, uh, every day actually is 16 minutes. So we have the whole playtest kind of sped up at 90x right now. Um, and so you're gonna hit this and you're gonna hit collect. Um, you're gonna grab uh, 270 RL1 um, and 47 liquid L1. That's based off of um, some of the RL1 and LL1 rewards tokens that have been unlocked during this. Um, you can click this button for free once a day. It won't cost you gas, um, which is a fun uh, bonus of that button. Um, and as you'll see now, um, I have 200, active, 200 L1 in active stakes that I can currently uh, pull out. So um, hmm, something interesting is happening here. I'm going to have to potentially report this as a bug, but you should be able to pull that out. Um, and... I have 869 additional to stake on the network. So I'm gonna max out, max out again here, maybe do one that's kind of in the middle here. Um, you know, I think there's gonna be a lot of different strategies that people use during this play test. Um, I think since we're giving out three prizes, one is for most liquid L1 earned, one is for most combination uh, tokens earned, and one is for fiat earned. And so, I'd say, you know, if you're going for rewards tokens, you're probably going to want to maximize. If you're going for liquid L1, you might want to take into account, like, how do I maximize uh, within the first year of staking? Um, it really depends, you know, what your goals are. Are you looking to get as much liquid currency as you can in the playtest of one year? Or are you looking to see how much your earnings could last if you really long term invest in the network? So again, check out um, all of the different kind of mathematical changes. This will help you make some of those decisions for yourself. And um, we'll, we'll uh, restake that way. Um, as you can see, again, I've got three active stakes again. Um, yeah, this will become withdrawable, I guess, in about a day. So, I mean, we'll come back here um, and do that. Um, but as you can see, every time I add a stake, it kind of gets added to this table. Um, so I can see every time I do that, um, so you can really manage, um, and have visibility into what you're doing. Um, yeah, and you can see kind of every time I make a transaction, um, you'll see a lot of these numbers kind of change, uh, dynamically and in real time. This will kind of allow you to see what other folks are doing on the network simultaneously. Um, and yeah, we're super excited to roll this out to you, um, the kind of mission here is twofold for you. We really want you to kind of get familiar with this UX, um, provide, ask us any questions, provide any feedback that you have that you think would make this more readable and usable. Um, also, I mean, obviously this is a pretty powerful tool for earning rewards tokens on the network. So we really did want to give community members a chance to really test out um, how it works and you know see how a lot of the tokenomics that we wrote about in the governance white paper here um, and kind of how they apply in like a real world scenario um, you know in this play test a lot of the economic parameters are the same as what we proposed you know rl1 um, you know will unlock at a rate of 10 percent per quarter l01 is unlocking at um, the the rate of 5% per quarter, um, you know, everything will kind of happen at the same rate that we initially proposed. So you'll be able to see kind of like how quickly you'll be able to be generating L1 and RL1 despite uh, the sort of like longer lock periods on the network. Um, and um, yeah, you'll also be able to see kind of the differences in token supplies, circulating supplies, um, all of that stuff. Um, if you're interested, we've got tool tips that explain what each of these terms mean um, so you can really deep dive into it. Um, and yeah, that's kind of uh, the tour of the governance, uh, the new governance page. Uh, in the future, this is also gonna include uh, vote tokens, which you'll also earn, uh, where you can use those to participate in voting on key initiatives, grants, that kind of stuff on the network. Um, but we're going to be releasing staking without voting at first, um, alongside the launch of the 
L1 economy and the listing of the L1 token. So this is going to be the first thing that you have to kind of understand and deal with at this point. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a walkthrough of governance. Thanks, guys. <laughs>